Good morning. I am Dr. Shweb Padaria, and today I am going to be speaking on laser treatment of incompetent perforator veins. Now, incompetent perforator veins need to be closed in those patients who have significant chronic venous disease, usually CEP class 4 and above. Clinically significant incompetent perforators are those which are larger than 3.5 millimeters in diameter or those which have greater than 500 milliseconds of reflux. These incompetent perforator veins can be closed by a variety of techniques such as surgery, laser, radiofrequency ablation, foam sclerotherapy or even glue treatment. The incompetent perforator vein can either be cannulated and closed directly or the superficial draining vein can be closed thereby stopping the leakage of blood from the incompetent perforator vein into the superficial cell. Now this particular case demonstrates a patient who has a venous ulcer around the ankle with a large above ankle perforator vein. What this particular case is introduce a bare laser fiber directly into the perforator vein so as to close this perforator vein directly under ultrasound guidance so the reflux of blood or leakage of blood from the deep system into the superficial vein is effectively closed off. As this video will demonstrate, the procedure is done entirely under local anesthetic and under ultrasound guidance. Here you can see that this is the incompetent perforator vein. This is a superficial vein lying on top and this incompetent perforator vein going down into the deep system. In this procedure, we will use a simple angiocath device, an 18 gauge device, which is available in most laboratories and cath labs. This has a sheath as well as a metal stillet. And what we will do is remove the sheath from the stillet and then put in a small laser fiber through the sheath so that only about one centimeter of the tip of the laser fiber protrudes from the tip of the sheath here. So this is a sheath and this is just the tip of the laser fiber protruding from the tip. Once this measurement is taken, the laser fiber is removed again and the stillet and the sheath are put together again. A little bit of local anesthetic is given just above the area of the incompetent perforator vein. And under ultrasound guidance, you can see how the needle is introduced directly into the perforator. And when we withdraw, you see blood coming back, so you are in the perforator. Now, the previously measured laser fiber is now introduced through the sheath. And then a little bit of tumescent anesthesia is given again under ultrasound guidance all around the angiocat device so that it separates the laser fiber from the surrounding structures. The laser energy is now given within the vein, incompetent perforator vein, at about 10 watts. And as the laser energy is given, you'll see bubbles start coming out, effectively demonstrating that the vein is totally closed. And you keep pulling the laser fiber back, delivering about 70 joules per centimeter of total energy. Once this is done and you've demonstrated a white line which shows that the vein is closed, the entire assembly is removed, and as you can see, a small puncture mark is all that remains behind. A small bandage is now put on the leg and uh, compression is applied and the patient is ready to walk and go. So closure of incompetent perforator vein with bare laser fiber is a quick and effective method of closure of the incompetent perforator veins. Accurate closure is achieved by this technique as it is performed under ultrasound guidance. Use of a simple angiocat sheets makes the procedure very cost effective. And being an office-based procedure, this allows the patient to resume all activities immediately. Thank you for listening.